Okay, welcome back as we look into the book of Zechariah. Today we're at chapter 1, verses 16 and 17. Let's hear them now, and let's, let's try to think of them, how they might have sounded to Zechariah. Therefore, thus says the Lord, I am returning to Jerusalem with mercy. My house shall be built in it, says the Lord of hosts, and a surveyor's line shall be stretched out over Jerusalem. Again proclaim, saying, thus says the Lord of hosts, my city shall again be spread out through prosperity. The Lord will again comfort Zion and will again choose Jerusalem. So this is how Zechariah's vision ends here. As glorious as possible. God is going to bring a restoration of his people, a restoration to Jerusalem. It, the, things are going to be better than they've, they've ever been that Zechariah's ever seen in his life. Uh, this is a glorious ending. And think what Zechariah must be feeling and thinking as God shared this vision with him. God will comfort Jerusalem. He's going to send prosperity throughout Zion. This is just, just almost too good to believe. But that's the message. And sometimes, you know, a lot of times the message is, is judgment because the people have done wrong. But here, God is just cutting loose and he's saying, look, there's great things ahead. If you'll only, if you'll only work with me, if you'll only, you know, let me help. So God has so many blessings to share with us. But so often we block those blessings by our disobedience. Uh, but here, God's going to retire a whole generation of leaders. We're going to get new leaders here. And that's what's going on here. God is, is engaged in lancing the boil hard. Sometimes that has to happen in a church. So younger leaders need to be encouraged. And so God sends his servants like Zechariah. And the older kings need to be admonished. And the newer kings need to be encouraged. So God is working to do that right here as we see it happening in Zechariah's prophecies. It all comes down to whether we'll hear God's voice or reject it. What are we going to do with God's commands? That's always the question. So often the new paths lead to apostasy. We need to choose faithfulness instead of the quick gimmicks and stuff like that.